Rithik Roshan, welcome to the show. Nice to be here. Rithik, um, in your new film Guzarish, your character has been described as the greatest magician of his times. Did you learn any magic tricks? Did you learn any magic while preparing for this part? Yeah, I had to. Some of them were really, really tough. Make patte ko gai kar sakta, and then I can make it appear again. Okay. I can lift a table up without my hands, and I can make it fly in the air. <laughs> okay. It's fun to do. Now, your director Sanjay Leela Bansali is famously meticulous. You have a reputation for being quite exacting as well. Were there clashes? Were there differences of opinion while making this film? No, I think on the contrary, when uh, when you don't share that kind of passion, mm. uh, then you know there can be a problem uh, because then you, the your your vision uh, for the final goal is not the same. You know, then sure. then then there's a mismatch. And I think that that is where uh, his essence has has been. You spend a fair portion of this film in a wheelchair. Did you practice at home? Did you practice to moving about? No, that was just a, that's a rumor, uh, and it doesn't really make sense. You j don't really need to practice much when you're on a wheelchair. Uh, it's a it's a craft that you can, you know, you don't really need to do much. It it does it for you. Okay. Um, so no, I didn't spend much time. The the preparation that mm. uh, went uh, into this film lasted for about a month and a half to two months, where I uh, personally went and uh, met up with uh, uh, the patients right. uh, to understand uh, the ethos, the you know uh, the mindset, uh, the depth. I and mean, you know you can't really even start to fathom what it must be like for mm. someone to lose his entire life at a young age of 26, 30, 35, or even 65. Uh, to be struck by such such a tragedy, and uh, while going through that, uh, you know that is when the real gift uh, really showed itself to me, you know, um, and it changed my life completely. Because after spending six hours or seven hours with with uh, with one of those patients, uh, you know, I came out of the room and I realized that for those six hours I was just laughing, I was smiling and laughing, and then he made me laugh and he made me smile, and he had the power to do that in spite of what he's going through. Mm. And it occurred to me he's, you know, he's, he's a quadriplegic. And there's no way after, you know, experiencing that for days on end to go home and complain about less salt in the food or, you know, creaking sound of the fan. You just, the complaining just, just vanishes. And that's what happened to me. And that's what I think is the gift uh, that this film carries for its audience. You know, no matter who you are, uh, I mean, after all the all the entertainment, all the laughs, all the songs and the dances, when mm. you leave the theatre, right. no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you are, no matter what your problems are, you will smile. You will smile and you'll say, yeah, it's okay, life is good, come okay. on, let's, let's just conquer, it's okay. So an appreciation for life is what you find in this film is what you're saying? That's, that's, that's the, true, uh, the true gift that I received. Okay. <laughs> You're obsessive about your fitness and you've always been. For this film, you had to pile on the pounds, didn't you? Did you learn to love your new body, learn to love, uh, you know, being fat? I could enjoy it because I knew that it, it was just a, a deviation and I will get back onto it. Though the getting back was really tough because I got addicted to the samosas and the batata vadas. I mean, I didn't even care which film was playing at the PVR, you know. I used to just, you know, book my samosas, my 14 samosas and I used to just, you know, binge on them uh, and uh, after 15 years I actually tasted a batata vada, uh, fried food you know it's been so long 15 years I, I did not know the taste of a, a fried batata vada. I just did not know pav bhaji you know all those things I was just so I, I actually started to get addicted to that because it just tastes so bloody good right but uh, you know my body was not used to it mm. so um, my doctors were pretty unhappy with my reports 
because after six months of, of binging like this, you know, my, my, my blood report was like through the roof. Right. And they just, you know, jumped in my way and said, stop, you can't do this anymore. And then thankfully it was the right, the, uh, at the right time when the film was ending. Uh, the shoot was just ending and it took a month and a half to get back into shape and now I'm okay. Could you learn to love your new body? Uh, of course, I, I enjoyed myself. Enjoyed myself. Those uh, those pictures of my paunch uh, will uh, you know be there for posterity okay. for all, all my life. <laughs> okay. Now you know you've said somewhere that through this film, both Ashwarya and you could approach it as artists, uh, where you didn't really constantly care about how you all were looking and you all were just in the moment. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy that liberation? Did you enjoy just not bothering about vanity? Absolutely, absolutely. First of all, I don't think it's vanity mm. because we are our uh, own. Uh, products and we have to take care of it so it's hard work towards making sure that uh, you know you're giving your best you know you're being paid for it you better do look your best and right. and, and, and be your best uh, but what uh, what I think we let go of is is the craft mm. you know and just followed uh, you know our instincts and um, just you know we were so spontaneous sometimes uh, the dialogues on paper was something else and, and what we said was some, something else. So <clears throat> it was really, uh, it was fun, it was liberating, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was great because Mr. Bansali also did not, did not hold us back. Mm. You know, if, if you, we wanted to try something, he was all for it. You know, so he really took care of us and uh, really pushed us and uh, it, was, it was just a, a, a memory that I would cherish for a long, long time. Okay. Pretty nervous, but very handsome. Doing this kind of film where you're playing a character who's trapped in a wheelchair, who's paralyzed, um, who depends on another person even for basic needs, is it the kind of film that, is it the kind of performance, is it the kind of character that, that depressed you personally? Is it, is it a role you took home? On the contrary, if you, uh, when you see the film, Ethan is the happiest man I have played. Okay. He is uh, the strongest and the biggest superhero that I have played. Okay. And uh, so that is what uh, sort of I imbibed in my own life. So uh, all the little things that don't bother, you know, are not important in your life, mm. just filtered out. You know, I was just by, uh, it just, I, by fluke I think, it just, I adopted a stance where there was a force field and you know, no problems could enter it. There were no problems. There okay. are no problems. Every problem has a solution. Mm. You know, I just stopped asking why, why, you know. Normally we, uh, we get irritated, we complain and we keep asking why and stuff. Just went out the window and uh, <clears throat> of course the, the uh, one section of the media had a field day with, uh, you know, taking my look with the crazy hair and the beard and saying, oh, he's become an alcoholic now. Right. And, uh, you know, he's gained weight and right. he's gone insane. But again, the force field was strong, you know. I didn't have to fight that battle. It was not important. Okay. So uh, I just had, uh, you know, it was a life changing experience. How has your professional relationship with Aishwarya changed over the three films you have done together? Uh, I, I think the great thing about our equation is that it's not changed uh, okay. at all. I think uh, the moment we uh, gave our first shot together, um, you know, we hit it off so well. Uh, I sort of, I, I think our approach to our work is somewhere similar um, and uh, She's very helpful, you mm. know, and uh, she's very caring, and and, and uh, she's not a, a all about herself. Um, so that's it's wonderful to find a co-star like like that. And over the years, I, I think our equation has just just maintained, uh, you know, just as uh, beautiful as it was uh, in our first uh, film. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia! What a lady! What a lady! What a lady! What a lady! आप भी मैजिक जानती हो इस घर की दीवारें भी मैजिक जानती है सर मुझे लगता है कि शी इज इन लव विद यू स्कर्ट्स के नाम पे घाघरा पहन के आ दिया तुम जिस दिन तुम शॉर्ट्स का पहन के आ गए मैं चलने लग जाऊंगा <laughs>
fan of Mr. Bansali's work before this film. What's your favorite of his films? Huge fan. I remember when I saw Khamoshi. After the film ended, I was still in the seat of the of the theater in Chandan. Mm. I, I just I didn't get up. I didn't get up for for ten minutes. I just you know I had two my, of my friends with me. And he was just like, "Whoa, dude, what was that?" You know, that's the you know this film. It should get an Oscar. <laughs> it really uh, affected me at that time, uh, in that place. I was very young, uh, and of course, all his films after that have uh, you know been spectacular. He's He's had, he's had a different level, but what I love most about him is the person he is. Right. You know, and the <clears throat> the things you can imbibe uh, from uh, a visionary of of his kind. Uh, you know, he's shy and he's sensitive and all that, and he. Uh, but you know, there's there's a method to that madness. You, know, mm. you just want to sit and watch. Right. Uh, it's 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 quite amazing. Right. You know, in an industry where you're only as good as your last hit, and you understand that as an actor, um, what kind of mood was Sanjay Bansali in while making this film? He had just come off uh, possibly the biggest of the biggest right. disaster of his career, Savaria. What was it like making this movie? Was he a different man from the man you knew? Um, I think the strength, the strength of this of this world of Guzarish was such. That uh, it didn't matter where you were coming from. Okay. Because the moment you were in this world, everything was just calm and happy. I mean, I don't think there's a single person on the s- single person on the set that did not laugh uncontrollably mm. or even cry uncontrollably on any single day of the shoot of this film. That's the magic of this journey. I mean, if I had to describe uh, the beauty of this journey of Guzarish, I could say words like. Wonderful, spiritual, magical, entertaining, and you know all that stuff, etc., sure. etc. But they still will not be enough. Okay. Because trying to explain this, the beauty of this journey is like trying to explain the beauty of nature. Mm. You know, with all its contrasting elements, night and day, and birth and death. There's a beauty in that that you can't really define. You can't explain it. Sure. And just like nature, for me, this film is beyond judgment. It's beyond good or bad. It is what it is. You know, it's 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 just. It's wonderful. Okay, you know um, there have been murmurs from just looking at the first look that there have been comparisons to other films, The Prestige, uh, The Sea Inside. No, no, believe uh, me. It's, it's too early. Of course, it's yeah. too early to make those kind of accusations. But it's okay. It's 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 uh, it's good uh, publicity. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, it's it's a completely original screenplay. Okay. This is your uh, second film this year. We saw Kites earlier this year. Have you had enough time to figure what went wrong with that? uh no that that would be a waste of time i didn't stop to figure off uh, to figure what went right with uh, all the successes of my films you just absorb that and you move on and uh, a film does not do well you know you absorb that and you move on you know that's 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 life as i said you know and i was doing i've learned lessons from ethan you know that as i said it's nothing is a problem you know they're all chapters in your life to make a great story you have to have such chapters you know uh, if you don't have these chapters in your life you, believe me your life is not going going to be a great story okay so you need that you uh, so are you a different man ammunition. today <laughs> have you are you a different man today in terms of facing failures are you much more calmer much more comfortable even facing up to failure what failures there are no failures okay okay simple You recently were measured for uh, your wax statue at Madame Tussauds. Yeah. What was that experience like? <laughs> wow. It was pretty insane. Uh, I mean, from the initial uh, shock and dis- disbelief, uh, I was completely, you know, entered a world of 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 magic here. Yeah. They are absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, the attention to detail and uh, the kind of stuff that I saw that was going on because I went personally uh, to the Tussauds and you know where they actually uh start from scratch right and uh enter the world of this kind of art that uh, is just spellbounding it's i was just completely enthralled you know it's incredible okay and uh yeah it was a wonderful experience is that something your kids are looking forward to um having their dad immortalized in wax i would yeah i would think they would like that sure <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the day when I can uh, take my two boys and uh, you know enter the two stars and and say, well, there's daddy. <laughs> sure, looking forward to seeing Guzarish. Thank you so much for talking to us. Pleasure. You know, hoping you will continue to entertain us like you have. Thank you so much. I will try. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.